Hey everybody, today we're going to be using GitHub Pages uh, to deploy our personal portfolio in one minute. The only prerequisite is to have a GitHub account and be logged in, and uh, that's it. So let's get started. So first thing first, choose an example from one of the ones that I provided below, or bring your own. I've selected these ones because they're very simple and easy to work with. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fork this repository. What that means is that we're essentially going to clone it and create a local copy that we can change. So once we select that, GitHub will automatically create that clone under our own repository, and now we can make changes to it. So now that we have a local copy, all we have to do is enable it. Let's go to the settings, down to pages, and here we can enable GitHub pages. Ignore the fact that mine says it's ready to be published. You can see if I open it up, it's actually not available yet. So what we have to do is enable it. So under source, the branch, we're going to select master and then hit save. And what we've done is enabled it. Now GitHub will automatically publish this. It does take up to 10 or 15 seconds, so just bear with it. And there we go. You can see now we have a published portfolio in less than one minute. But that's not good enough. We have to edit it now, of course. So uh, there's a couple different ways to do that. The first one, we'll show you the easy way, is we're going to just edit the files manually right through GitHub. So let's go back. We are here on our GitHub pages. Now, the file that we want to modify is index.html. This file contains all of the content that you will see or anybody will see when we're uh, exploring our portfolio. This is why we've selected such an easy template. It's going to be easy to modify and maintain, at least initially until you get your uh, feet wet. Let's click this edit button to modify the file. So what we're going to do is scroll down to where it says Ryan Fitzgerald right here. And then we're going to update this with our name in these H1 tags. And finally, we're going to add a description so that uh, we can remember this change when uh, we look at it later on and then commit the change and that's it So if we go back to our uh, main page here and then we go under this environment section You can see that it says github pages if we click in here We can see the actual change that we just made updating our name triggered an update of our website and if we go back you can uh, refresh the page and see that the new name is there it was really that easy to update our portfolio now if you're wondering why my website says sedkey.ca and how you can get a custom domain name well that's out of scope for this video but there's plenty of videos out there or just let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd like to see now the last thing that i want to share for you is how you can uh, build your website a lot quicker Modifying it through GitHub will take ages. So the best thing for you to do is use uh, Git to clone this repository locally and then use uh, a code editor such as Visual Studio Code. That's the one that I like to use. And then when you uh, when you have both of these tools running side by side, you can have your code editor on, on, on one part of your screen and then run your website on the other. And then when you code it with uh, a live debugger or something of the sort, uh, you can see as I make changes uh, to my code on the left, it will automatically reflect that on the right. And it's just going to make web development so much easier for you. So that's the best thing that you can do. And then when your changes are done, you can use Git to push your changes up to GitHub, where uh, the GitHub pages environment will automatically push them up to the live um, production version of the website. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or, or comments. Dump them in the, uh, in the channel. Thanks a lot.